What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ant. God made 32 on Instagram, and today we back with Secret Invasion, Episode 4, Beloved. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah, guys, we're finally back with another episode of Secret Invasion, man. I'm feeling a lot better. So hopefully I can pump these joints out now, you know what I mean? Still a bit dry, this jet lag lasted a lot longer than I wanted it to. But Secret Invasion has been so much fun, man. I really like the way how the story has been going. I like the pacing of the story so far. I like the mystery of it. And I do like the expansion of the Marvel Universe as well, man. While keeping it low key at the same time. And yeah, guys, if you like what we're doing here, please go ahead and do the YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Now without any further ado, let's get Paris, Washington. As I was watching all the news coverage of those guys, strangest thing, I kept having this feeling that someone I know had something to do with getting them all together. <laughs> and what if it was someone you know? He understands that the weak are worth protecting. Okay, I like that. Good book. It's a conversation between two people. I really like that conversation. And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so. I did. To call myself beloved. Aww. To feel myself beloved. They said the thing. On the earth. It's powerful. She about to betray his ass right now. That's crazy. Ooh, here he go. Scroll, Rody. Scrody. I fired Fury. No, I'm sorry. Correction. I DDT'd that dude from the top rope. Like, Undertaker level. Really impressive. Okay. Yeah, was what Gravik needs, what Gravik doesn't need, that's none of your concern. I'm the one telling you to kill Fury. Oh, wow. One of the two occupants of that lovely country manor of yours. Is catching a bullet today. Oh shit. You can flip a coin for all I care. He'll be dead from exhaustion and defeat soon enough. We don't need to kill him. Oh shit. You keep telling me what you're not gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I am gonna do. Oh man, Don Cheeto. Keep chewing the scenery. Now you enjoy this concert. Get your hand off her shoulder, you bastard. I don't need your sorrow or your pity for anything I did of my own free will. What the hell going on here, man? What is your plan for finding our people at home? Because Gravik has already implemented his, and it works. We take down the insurgency. Once that's done, to the present. And we have a big bargaining chip. And we tell him. To save your planet, give me a little something in return. I can secure an amnesty for the one million of us to remain. Mm. Don't you want to live in your own skin? She's sickening by it. Keep contributing. Show them our hearts. They will see us. Mm. She don't believe it. You're delusional, and that is not who I've become. Who is she? Like, what's going on here? Shit. Didn't think you'd be home until later. Surprise. <laughs> Tea? Sure, I'll take a cup. I wonder what this conversation gonna be like. Where's the gun at? I know both of them probably got a gun on. Of all the reckless things I've done in my life, you are by far and away greatest mistake. Oh, why you hit so hard? Ignored every signal in my head, heart, and body that screamed, Stop! Mm -hmm. I don't know that if I had a chance to do it over again, that I'd do anything different. Okay. Would you tell me the story? Joe's. Yeah, the real story. Dr. Priscilla Davis had a congenital heart defect. She was keeping it a secret. Looking for someone who would slip your defenses. Ah, so 
So you were playing the long game on me, even then? Super facts. Don't do that, Nick. I decided to just come out and ask. I asked if she wanted to fall in love, and I told her about you. Make her three promises that I would bury her at sea, which I did. That I would continue to be a daughter to her parents. Which you've also done. Three. That I would never hurt you. Oh, shit. Can't do that one. And did you get what you wanted from this life, even so? I did. Mm. And what did you want? To call myself beloved. To feel myself, myself beloved, beloved on the earth. Oh, shit. That's a cold ass scene, boy. I couldn't even talk. I'm not sure if this means we should get divorced or we should renew our vows. <laughs> what the shite? Would you have loved me if I'd never changed? If I'd been my true self? Guess we'll never know. Mm, that's, that's kind of a weird answer, but I get it, I think. Who is Scroll Shorty? Scroll shorty is Don Cheadle? What the shite? Memory serves I shit canned you into oblivion a few days ago. Oh, he's still boasting about it? I didn't like the way we left thing. I wanted to share my favorite liquid lunch with you. Happy Van Winkle. 23 years of distilled perfection. I figured we could settle our beef like, you know, proper gentlemen. Happy! You now did yourself on this one. Now, Happy. That's the real thing? <laughs> $5,000. If you waste one drop of this family reserve, your ancestors will reach out from the beyond and strangle your black ass. <laughs> Broke in to tell you there are scrolls inside the U.S. government. Scrolls in my security details, scrolls in the U.S. government, they're just scrolls. Uh, I have it on excellent authority that there is a scroll mole very close to the president. Wow. Very close. Really? Very close. As close as you and I are right now. Uh, closer. All you got to do to keep my mouth shut about all this, give me my job back. You mind if I make a counter? <laughs> you know you putting something on here, Theory. You see this all right? That's grabbing. That's not me, that's a, a six foot tall, bald, black, one eyed extraterrestrial. Wow. In my power to protect you, to keep this video and, you know, all the copies that I made under wraps. Oh, shit. <sighs> this sounds good, but I know there's a double plan here. That pappy gotta be poison or nano trackers in there for real. Liquid location tracker. It's not a bad idea. I knew it. Hey, that boy Nick Fury don't play, boy, I promise. You have to project strength. Uh, there's an old Lenin quote, Vladimir, not John. When you find flesh, you push. When you find steel, you stop. Colonel, can I ask you something? Did you um, pre-game for our bilateral with the Russians with a half a bottle of bourbon? I'm not sure I understand the question, sir. They could smell that drawing on your breath. That boy got the lick. Oh, what the hell? The helicopter? They playing way too much. Golly. Y'all on the wrong stretch of road. That's a cool ass shot too. Confirm! Citadel the line! Oh, and this is when they gonna come and get the switch on. Alright. That boy Rody in there cool as a cucumber. B. Hey, this episode 
episode is fine. Whole planet will be a kill zone if we don't say written. Okay, that's they men in black trunk. Bingo, bango, bang. Beside the prep, they don't get they stupid ass on somewhere. That boy in the midst of battle. Nah. Oh. oh, that's the group on. Switched them because Rody was too calm in there. Oh! Got you in the shoulder though. You ain't finna die from a cap to the shoulder, ain't you? He's a bloody alien. He's trying to get to Richard. No, no, no. Hold your fire. He's with me. He's with us. Focus on keeping his form. Tails, hang in there. I'll be back for you. Put him in my car. This I got mad. my own ride. This is mad close quarters. Oh, no, nah, I don't like that. Oh, shit. I said, put him down now. Super scroll, it's too late. Here I come, man. Boy, oh boy. No, oh, they just killing off everybody around Fury right now. Catching L's in this joint, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And yeah, guys, that was another amazing episode of Secret Invasion, man. And I ain't gonna lie to you. When you're talking about escalating a situation to a point where I don't think you could come back from, this is where it's at right now, man. Like, you thought what he did in Moscow would have been bad enough, not to mention all of the strikes that he's had before, but this time he came in with a vengeance going directly after the president and ended up killing Talos in the midst of it, man. This series just been taking out characters by the episode. I think at least one character or a scroll version of a main character has died in every episode, man. Like, I could be making that up. I probably am making that up, but that's what it feels like. This joint has been gut-wrenching, man. Like, and it's been heartbreaking. There's a lot of tough conversations that happen here, a lot of interpersonal conversations between these characters, and it makes the series a lot smaller. It shows what the show version of it should be because we can not cover some of this big bombastic things, but because we're a show, we have more time. We can cover all of these interpersonal relationships that we wouldn't necessarily get to cover in the movies. Because in the last two episodes, I received so much information about Nick Fury and his wife, their relationship, how it started, how it's going, how it ended. Like, you feel that the chemistry between those characters has been amazing. Like, I feel the push and pull of Amelia Clark's character. I understand why she could be conflicted in this situation, and I understand where her dad is coming from because he's so much more world weary than she is because he actually seen them do the same thing in a prior situation. And I get it, man. I totally get it. I understand where Gravik is coming from, but he's definitely pushing it way too far. He doesn't understand that hospitality or how it goes. He's just looking at it, especially with their lifespan. I don't understand why he's looking at 30 years like 30 years really mean anything to him. Like that doesn't make any sense to me, but I understand why he wants the planet in the first place. It's a plan he 
basically grew up on. So, like, give me that. But, yeah, man, this this episode has been amazing, man. It's showing me so many more things. It gave me the first look at a live-action Super Scroll in here. That looked crazy. They're switching out the stretchiness. The Groot arms looks cool. He got a kill from one of the Groot arms. The regeneration is pretty cool because Nick Fury went ahead and popped him in the head and he just popped up and healed his face. It's just been a build up to seeing it full force and I'm knowing that if the episode go on as it should, because of the escalation of everything, we're going to see a lot more of that, man. It just took it just took like three different caravans of backup to like hold off this one little group with probably three or four Super Scrolls in there. And only one of the Super Scrolls really like using his powers like that so like you can understand how nuts it's gonna be if it continues to ramp up and escalate as it has been the beginning of this episode was crazy man it picked up right from where it left off last episode with his wife with him questioning where her loyalties lie and it definitely went into a way where you didn't know how she was gonna move if she really loved him or not what her ultimate goal was what she was trying to get out of it you know what I mean? But like, I think throughout the episode, you see her do certain things or you hear her say certain things that make it abundant and clear. And it came to a head when both of them were sitting at that table. That was a crazy conversation they had between each other as well, man. I think the chemistry between those two since that character has been introduced has been amazing. And I love how they push back and forth between each other in the scenes. And I love how she moves Sam Jackson to get a better performance out of him. And he does the same with her. Also, Sam Jackson has been putting in amazing performances every time he's in the same room with Don Cheadle. And Don Cheadle has been doing amazing in this show. Damn near stealing every single scene that he's been in. Because he's playing one person in the body of a next person. And he's just to his wits end with it right now, man. He could taste them taking over the planet. And I know, know that's why he's acting like that. And that second scene where Nick Fury actually finds out that he's a scroll and didn't even say it in that way to him he just dropped his ace card right on the table boom we got you shooting buddy right here so you tell him that i'm a scroll i'm gonna put this up on the table and ain't nobody gonna believe you that that's a scroll and i think somebody probably believe him because we're we're having a scroll invasion right now as it stands but yeah guys jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about this episode man let me know what you think about this series so far. Let me know what you think about all of the twists and turns that this episode has given so far. Let me know what you think about the actress that's playing Priscilla Fury. Let me know what you think about her turns in here. Let me know if you guessed the whole roadie situation that he's a scroll. Jump down in the comments and let me know your entire feelings about this episode. Let me know what you think about the death at the end of the episode. Let me know what you feel about Gravik being the first Super Scroll and what you think he's gonna do next. And yeah guys, if you like what you see in here, Please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know. And it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. And did you get what you wanted from this life, even so?